From Max launches his new field strength meter, the TV Explorer. It will change the way in which TV measurements are made and understood. With one single RF input, it covers the three broadcast systems, satellite, terrestrial and cable. With any type of signal, digital or analog, the TV Explorer is designed to help you during the transition to the digital terrestrial television. It also includes an MPEG-2 decoder to view digital channels, showing on the screen all the information related to the program and the digital package. It includes a high-resolution spectrum analyzer controlled by arrow keys. It is no longer necessary to use menus to set up the spectrum graphics. Thanks to this new interface concept without menus, all measurements are shown on the same screen, quickly and clearly. The new auto-identification function, exclusive of the Explorer, detects the parameters of a digital signal or the system and standard of an analog one, with no need to enter any previous information to the meter. The innovative Explorer function makes a complete band scan storing all the channels detected in a personal channel table. In terms of physical look, the meter has an outstanding 5 inches height brightness TFT that can be operated even under direct sunlight. The meter can comfortably be carried around using the canvas carrying bag. An ABS hard case can also be used for total protection during transportation. The TV Explorer has a shoulder strap and can be hung around the neck or strapped around the waist so that the user can have his hands free to better develop his duty. The TV Explorer operation method avoids the use of menus to access the different functions, which can be selected by just pressing one button. For instance, pressing the rotor encoder will switch the meter on off. This button allows you to switch at any time between terrestrial and satellite bands. An LED will inform you constantly in which band you are located. With the TV Explorer, we can power an external satellite amplifier through the RF output and the cable connected to the LMB. And when the installation is DISEC ready, we can easily adjust and configure the receiving unit by using the DISEC commands. High Resolution Spectrum Analyzer The TV Explorer can display from full span to 8 MHz of bandwidth with variable reference levels. These two parameters are controlled by just pressing the appropriate arrow keys in order to make the operation as easy as possible. Up increases the reference level of the graph. Down decreases it. Left decreases the displayed bandwidth. The unique Auto ID function will automatically identify a digital or analog signal based on the position of the cursor in the spectrum. For a digital signal, the Explorer will determine the modulation QAM, COFDM or QPSK, the bandwidth and the rest of the applicable parameters. This information will be stored in the channel table and thus it will only be necessary to identify the signal once. Then. The equipment will display the spectrum of the identified channel with the cursor positioned accordingly. For an analog channel, it is necessary to detect the system and standard use, as well as the video and audio carriers. This information will also be stored in the channel table. And we then return to the spectrum analyzer mode, positioning the cursor directly on top of the video carrier. Once the signal has been identified, the user can measure or monitor the audio and the video of the channel. Just press one key and you will access the measuring mode. Whatever your terrestrial TV, satellite or cable, no matter if it's analog or digital, all measurements will be available simultaneously. This combination will allow for faster and more efficient installations. All measurements are displayed on the same screen. You can choose one measurement value 
to appear above as a bar graph. To pick another value, just press again the measure key. The image demodulation, digital or analog, shows a table with the information about the channel. Let's see the data that can be retrieved from a certain digital channel. Channel number. Selected channel plan, default or customized. System. Service list. Positioning the selector on this line, any available service can be accessed. Network name, data rate, audio and network identifiers. The last label on this window indicates whether the channel is free to air or encrypted. Video and audio program identifiers, data of the video stream, MPEG profile and level, ratio and frequency, video format. Let's return to the Spectrum Analyzer. The Antenna Alignment function includes a fast spectrum sweep that will help us to align terrestrial and satellite antennas easily. All technicians value the small size and the light weight of the TV Explorer. The yellow bar shows the maximum peak of the signal. The white bar shows the average value of the maximums measured in the previous seconds. Switching between tuning modes, by channels or by frequency, can also be selected by pressing one key. The configuration menu allows the user to manually define the signal settings and switch between analog or digital modes. In this menu, the user can also select the channel plan to be used, whether it is a standard or customized, that is, generated by the Explorer. The Explorer function, that which gives name to the instrument, automatically creates customized channel plans that contain only the channels present in the scan band. By pressing this key for two seconds, the technician will be free to keep on with his work, while the TV Explorer performs this task fast and automatically. Once the process is over, enter the name of the new channel plan to store it in the Explorer's permanent memory. In the Preferences menu, the user can select at any time parameters that will affect the equipment's operation, such as the language the appearance of the graphic interface, adjusting the LCD brightness or activating the light sensor. Or select the parameters that affect the auto-identification and explorer functions. In this menu, the user can also define the measurement units, activate the auto power off function or define the turning direction of the rotary selector. Finally, in the utilities menu, you can add or delete specific channels from a channel plan, or even, if you want to, a complete channel plan.